Hello everyone, hope you're doing great. So today we're gonna learn something interesting about video schema. Now in this particular series of sessions, we are learning how to create the different types of schema for our website. So whenever we have different website elements or what, whenever we have different different types of content on our website, we do a different we do different types of schema additions on the website so that it's easy for uh, search engines to understand the different web elements that you are trying to have uh, on the website. So for example, this is an e-commerce website, so we can have one review schema for all the products. We can have a product schema for all the products we can have a video schema if there are any videos so for example in this particular uh, web page we have this particular video that is there now this video explains about the particular offer that is there and all that stuff now we are, what you're going to do is we are, we are today we are uh, going to follow a step-by-step -step process and add the video schema for this particular website why are we adding this video schema so that whenever someone is searching with a brand name or searching by a particular keyword that resembles this video the video appears in the search results so nowadays if whenever you search any particular term you also get the video in the search result along with the text and image based results you also get a video uh, scroll in the search result so just to appear in that uh, search result uh, to ensure that our videos are also recognized by search engines and it also gets a place in the search rankings we are adding the schema markup for our videos now in this series of video uh, series of sessions on schema markup we are using this tool uh, from technicalseo.com we are using the schema markup generator tool we have already created the schema for the other elements other web elements for example the content uh, the breadcrumb the events the faq page we have already created the schema now today we're going to create the schema for the video content on our website so what you can see over here is this is my url so in this particular website in this offer url there is a particular video and we would like to ra rank this video we would like to add the schema for this particular video on our website now this is going to be a step-by-step -step process where i'll be creating the schema for your for the for this particular video and add it in the website using google tag manager so stay tuned and let us start with the step-by-step -step process i'll keep it short and simple so that it's easy for you to follow up now in this particular series of videos we are using this particular tool schema markup generator by technicalseo.com now today we're going to do video schema this is a bit complex in nature as compared to other schema types because we need to fit in certain information that is not readily available to us for example the thumbnail url the content uh, embed url now these are the different information that might not be readily available to you so uh, based on the type of uh, hosting account or the or the type of platform wherever you are putting up your videos it will differ now i'll be using youtube as as it's one of the most common sources of uh, hosting videos and i'll quickly follow a process uh, to create the video schema for this particular page and this particular video now whenever you are doing the video schema first of all try to figure out where exactly the video is uh, hosted now in my case i can see that the video is hosted in uh, youtube so i can just copy the video url and uh, try to get into that particular uh, videos page so over here i'm just typing in and i am landing up on this particular page where uh, I am able to see the details about this particular video on its hosted uh, platform that is YouTube so over here I will get all the necessary information uh, now let us see let us say this is uh, the title I'll copy the video title get back to my schema generator this is the name of the video I'll put the name as a name as it is then this is a description I'll copy the description over here and get back to my schema generator and put in the video description now try to keep it as uh, close as possible to whatever you have put in your uh, uh, video source uh, we have already added this information next information is uh, when was it published so august 26 and the time is 0 or 19 seconds so i'll put in as 0 minutes and 19 seconds and the upload date was august 26 so this is september i'll move back to august and 26 so this is my date now thumbnail url now this is where a lot of you will get stuck because this is not a readily available information you cannot get it easily uh, from your video so thumbnail url for thumbnail url you need to uh, look into the uh, video id you need the video id for it now simply just look into the url of your video you will find something called v equals to a particular number now this alphanumeric number is your video id and in case you do not see something like this you have a long url and all of that what you can do is you can just copy the video url and paste it over here again in that case you will directly get the video id now this is my video id i'll keep it aside and now i'm gonna introduce a new link to you uh, this is what you need to get the uh, embed uh, uh, thumbnail url so this is an url that i'll be sharing in the video description you need to just uh, visit this particular url and you will see something like this now all you need to do is copy 
the video ID of your video and get back to this uh, and just insert this particular video ID between these two hashtags. So uh, this would give you the video thumbnail URL. Now if I enter, I get to see this. Now this is what I have as the video thumbnail. I'll copy this URL and paste it over here. This is my thumbnail URL. That's it, sorted. Content URL, now content URL again for content URL, do not copy the whole URL that you have over here. Right click and then copy video URL. That is the right way to get the uh, content URL. So just copy and paste it over here. Embed URL, now that's where again you need to get back to, to your video. Right click and then copy embed code. Now this is also not a readily available data. So you, need to, you just need to copy this code and look for any, uh, look for the SRC link over here. So whenever you, you copy this uh, embed code and uh, just paste it anywhere, paste it in a Word doc, paste it in a notepad, paste it in your uh, URL, uh, paste it in this URL space over here just try to figure out what is the src link over here now if you look at this particular link this is the link on in, inside this quotation now this is the embed link that you need i'll copy this now if you look at this url structure over here it says embed and then the video id so this is my embed url of my video so i'll just copy that and paste it over here so this is the embed url of my video uh, seek to action target url now over here you can either put in the info, put in the url of your video or you can put in the uh, the web address wherever your video is embedded now this is primarily used for or used to indicate where exactly the user shall land up whenever they click on this uh, video schema result uh, so i'll just put in the website address because i want them to see the video on my web page and this is how i have put it publisher now publisher is where you need to put in the brand name so ideally uh, uh, the publisher is uh, the website owner so this is the brand name i have put in and then the logo i need to put in so i'll just right click and copy the logo address over here so copy image address would be my uh, url for the logo so i'll just quickly cross check it once yes this is the url logo i'll get back to my schema generator and paste in the publisher logo url over here i need the logo uh, width and height also so what i'll do is i'll i'll right click and uh, look for inspect element and over here i'll be able to see the height and width of the logo now uh, if I look at this it might be a little difficult to figure out but here is where you get the information so width is 400 and height is uh, 71 so I'll get back to my schema generator H height is 71 pixel and uh, width is 400 pixel I guess if I'm not wrong yes 400 pixels so that so using this inspect element you'll be able to understand you'll be able to know the uh, uh, know the height and width of your logo so yeah that's uh that's it we have put in all the information now in case your logo height is exceeding uh either you have to go back and change it change it in the original source that is you need to change the size of this logo or you can simply for now mention the height as height to be 60 it will automatically compress it and what you see in the right hand side over here is the schema code uh, already available to you you can just copy this schema code and now let us see how to add this schema in the website so uh, before that i'll quickly check if the schema is uh, working fine if we have added everything in the correct format if it's running correctly on the website so i'll just quickly check it uh, for its validity if the schema code is fine okay so it says the schema code is absolutely fine this is a video and it's gonna work fine uh, and smooth now to add the schema in your website there are two options one is that either you can uh, follow uh, the, the seo plugin that you have in case you have seo plugin so plugins like rank Math seo all in one seo plugins all of those seo plugins for your wordpress website allows you to add additional schema markup now in case uh, in case you you are in case you are not using a WordPress website or you do not want to use any plugin for schema you can simply add the schema markup using Google Tag Manager now for the simplicity of it uh, using uh, adding the schema markup using Google Tag Manager is a safer and a more smoother option so I'll just quickly follow the uh, pro standard process of using or adding schema using Google Tag Manager so to access Google Tag Manager I land up on my uh, web analytics and from my web analytics I can easily access Google Tag Manager you can also uh, directly end up on Google Tag Manager uh, so tag manager.google.com and you can log into your tag manager account now once you log into your tag manager account you are gonna land up in the workspace so this is the dashboard now there are two options to get started you need to create a tag for your schema so there are two ways to get started one is either you can either you can start from this workspace and add a new tag or you can click on these tags and then you also get a button over here to add the tags right so there are two ways to get started either way it's fine uh, so I'll just get started with this button I'll hit new and then I'll just add this particular uh, tag over here video offer offer video schema 
so this is the offer video uh, and for this offer video i'm going to do the schema of it so i'll just name it for my convenience in future i would like to recognize what exactly the schema is about so i have renamed it and then uh, the tag configuration now this is an html code that i have just copied uh, uh, that i've just created in this particular section so i have just copied this html code i'll get back to the google tag manager uh, search for html option and now i have a field to add the html code i'll just simply paste the html code over here i'll scroll down and look for the triggering now triggering is where i am guiding the website uh, or i'm guiding uh, this uh, uh, Google Tag Manager uh, on on where exactly or when exactly to fire this particular code. So when this code shall start working on the website. So uh, over here you can mention the exact page URL wherever the video is embedded or in case you would like to run it everywhere uh, you can also select all pages. Now for the simplicity of it I'm selecting all pages in case you want to want this particular code to run in one particular page wherever the video is embedded. In that case you can just select the page URL over here. So you can just select the one particular page URL so plus over here and then you can just configure a tag that will in that in that tag configuration you need to select the right url or right web address wherever you would like to run this particular code now this is something that we have already covered in detail in our uh, schema markup and google tag manager courses so i'm not repeating this process right now so yeah that is how we have just added uh, the schema markup for the video on the on, on on the website using this google tag manager now once you are done adding the adding the tag and the trigger just save it and don't forget to submit it once you submit it it will be uh, it will start it, its action so right now it is just getting added to your website and now from now onwards whenever someone visits your website the schema is going to run and also this schema is going to help google next time google crawlers index your website this schema is going to help google uh, understand the web understand the video on your website so yeah that is a simple process it's it's, it's it, it might be a little complex at times but but uh, once you follow this whole process once or twice it's gonna be a super simple and easy process for you uh, so video schema we have just added it on our website yeah that's the whole process if you have any doubts any any comments please let me know in the in the, the comment section if you have any any queries and i will be sharing this link this is the link that you will be needing so i'll be sharing this link in the in the, in the video description you just have to copy this uh, uh, link and uh, just replace this video id over here so that you can get your thumbnail url and apart from uh, this rest all the other information is readily available to you thank you so much if you have any doubts please let me know have a good day bye bye